This is the Cinematography for Actors podcast. More than a podcast, CFA is a vibrant community devoted to bridging the gap between talent and crew. Each week, our show offers transparent, insightful conversations with industry leaders. We unveil the magic behind the scenes from candid discussions about unique filmmaking processes to in-depth technical exploration. Join us in unraveling the intricacies of filmmaking one episode at a time. It's more than just cameras and lenses over here. We aim to inspire, educate, and empower as we peel back the curtain on the art of effective story. Telling. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. All right. As a DP, I know purchasing gear can kind of be a nightmare. Whether you're talent or crew, finding technical solutions to any of your problems can be very challenging. And what's even harder is knowing where to go. So we have an answer for you. Head over to Band Pro one of our incredible sponsors here at CFA. Whether you're looking for high-end cameras and lenses or looking for guidance on what is needed to get started on this equipment journey of yours, BandPro has the gear and team that you need to thrive in your own career. They are the exclusive representative of Ingenue's complete cinema line for all of North and South America, and their customer support is fantastic. Not only do they have a great team to answer any product question you might have, but they also have a talented team of in-house technicians that you can actually talk to to get your equipment back up and running. Which is really important, especially if you're on set. So, bonus. (laughs) Go to bandpro.com or stop in at their location in Burbank. And please make sure to say hi from CFA because we love them so very much. Yeah, hello. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Cinematography for Actors podcast. I am one of your hosts here today, Indiana Underhill, and I am joined with one of my dear friends and also one of the very important heads of this festival, in my mind, Chris Merrill. Hello. Hi. Good to be here. I'm so excited. You're sat on your very own couch at AFI Fest with the poster featured. I I think I put this poster up, actually. You did. You brought it in and you said, you can use this. I brought one up. Um, Oh, thanks for having me. Of course. Now, a fun little story. Um, Chris and I actually met when I was a fellow at the conservatory, um, a few minutes away from here and I saw him on the second floor and he was such a nervous fellow and looking <laughs> a little like this. Yeah. Walking down, yeah. And I went up to him and I was like, Oh, are you like a first year screenwriter? And you're like, no, I've worked here for 20 years. Why? And I'm like, you just looked a little nervous. Yeah. And here we are friends. We've shot films together yeah. and we just won an award together for those films for that film. And it We're will be premiering, premiering next week yeah. Yeah. at the L.A. International Film, Film Festival. That's right? it. Yeah. yeah. So. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to have Chris on today, other than the fact that I just like absolutely adore him, is that he has been at AFI, the American Film Institute, for 20 plus years. That is that is true. Yeah. And you are the director of AFI Productions. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? So uh, AFI, I like to think of as sort of a... Um, a two-headed dragon. It has the conservatory, which you know very well, the number one film school in the country over and over again, perennial, um, which is a huge part of it. Um, uh, and as you know, the, it was founded by Lyndon Johnson and the forming of the National Endowment of the Arts in 1968. We will create American Film Institute. So it's a, it's a national program, big thing. So it has this other side to it, which is preserving and honoring. And that has been a long tradition of the Life Achievement Award going on 50 years right now. In fact, we are, um, this hasn't been announced, but we are producing a 50 year retrospective on that for Turner Classic Movies this fall. Fantastic. um, Which I'm excited to be working on. Um, And so that's part of it too. Uh, There really wasn't a Life Achievement Award at the Oscars. They have something a little bit different, producing award. And so uh, 50 years ago, the AFI thought these legends, John Ford, James Cagney, Betty Davis, Lillian Gish, they're all around still. And so they started doing these um, programs. And so now I'm lucky enough to be one of the producers on that. I've been a producer, a full producer on that show since uh, Warren Beatty, uh, 2008. Um, There's many stories there that I can't get into now, but it's been, it's a great ride. And so this year, uh, because of the strike, um, well not strike and just didn't feel like it was the right time, we but we were going to um, honor Nicole Kidman this June. We decided to, we're now going to do it this coming spring. Fantastic. Great. So I've already done the interview with her in Nashville. It was amazing. Oh, so amazing. it's really fun. So we do that. We have a, a show called AFI Awards, which is our v- better than the Golden Globes, but our version, <laughs> I say Golden Globes because it's television and movies. Yeah. Uh, the entire ensemble wins. There's no winners. It's just you're here 
said film, and, and it's at the Beverly Hills um, Hotel, uh, the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills, in the ballroom. It's this tiny little intimate award show that I direct, and it's one of my so, favorites. Oh, and so that. all these other things are going on other than conservatory and including AFI Fest. Yeah, which we which, are here for this year, and I'm very excited to be hosting the podcast live on site. So thank you for that opportunity. Yeah. Now, let's talk about AFI Fest. Film is for everyone. What does that mean? How was that created for this year's theme or slogan? Well, I want to give you know props to our creative team and Crystal um, and Julie Goodwin and uh, there's a whole bunch of people that actually come up with this artwork and that's so amazing and, and, and the slogans and all that. But to me, you know, they, things are batted around and to me it meant for this year, you know, kind of the spirit of AFI Fest. If there is a a niche that we have is that it's we're in the heart of Hollywood and yet we're also sort of a, a deep international film festival. And so what does that mean? It means you have um, uh, documentaries and international films and people flying in from around the world. And then you also host a, 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 in the Chinese theater two nights ago, Pee Wee's great adventure, you know, yes, yeah. you know, introduced by Greta Gerwig, our, our artistic director. So, uh, that's for everyone in my mind. It, you can kind of find anything you want. You can find big premieres. You can find a documentary on Albert Brooks, one of my favorite that was a couple nights ago. Um, or you can see some really interesting short films. So it's, I think, some festivals you say what it is and you immediately know what you're getting. And I think here um, it's that same sort of deep dive appreciation of cinema with a bit of Hollywood on the top. Cool. I like that a lot. That yeah. was a perfect explanation in my um, mind. Now, Albert Brooks, what was that film we saw, Jack, the Albert Brooks movie? Uh, uh, real Life. Real Life. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. That I, that was my first Albert Brooks film I saw, and that was like a year ago. Oh, uh, yeah. It, hilarious. Hilarious. And this doc that played the other night, what was fascinating about it is I am very familiar with his movies, but I didn't know his stand-up. And that he's almost like uh, Andy Kaufman-esque or Steve Martin's early stuff. This just performance art side of him that um, I didn't know. So, yeah. yeah he's now, amazing. one of the other things that always impresses me um, about you is uh, your film knowledge. You are... And you work at the AFI for 20 years. Dude. You kind of have to. Oh, or... my God. You I do good... remember. This is a good story. Yeah. I, uh, uh I got my job. I, I went to, I'm from back east. I went to Boston College. I met the one person that was working at AFI because I'd seen the 100 100 lists that was, that was on CBS specials. And I really wanted to come out and work on one of those and get out of the East Coast and do that. So I, I get here and there was nothing, um, no available jobs at AFI. And then he's like, yeah, but don't worry about it. Just take the bus and come down. And David Lynch is speaking. And I got on the bus my first night here, got down from Santa Monica all the way to up in Hollywood, uh, see David Lynch do this seminar. I'm just like in heaven, right? Yeah. I do get on the wrong bus going home and get lost <laughs> in downtown LA, but that's, a, you know, <laughs> figure that out. But, but a couple months later, they, I get a call and they're doing a really quick um, calendar uh, for the 100 years, 100 laughs, 100 of the best comedies of all time, and they need someone to write little blurbs on a flip calendar. So I spent three weeks in the AFI library doing that, and... Um, on my exit interview, the person that hired me was sick, and Bob Ghazali did it, and he's now president and CEO Absolutely, of Goodbye. Yeah. He, in fact, was the director of Avery Productions. My job oh. before he got the big are gig. Are you saying that yeah. you are eventually? Uh, I, you have to be good at raising money to do that job. That's yeah, not me. Anyway, but um, I remember he had like a movie quiz a little bit and put you on the spot, and I remember us lying through my teeth about All About Eve, a movie I had not seen, and just went there and then immediately that night I rented it at Blockbuster yeah, and watched it That's so amazing. you kind of have to know your stuff to just hang and just hang yeah, yeah. in the halls I love it that's so yeah. wonderful now let's talk about AFI Fest programming what are some of the films you've heard people talk about that they're really excited about or what are your favorite picks what are the things that you might want to try and catch I know you probably can't because you're so busy but what, I what know. do you have to look forward I, to literally the, the only one I'm now going forward we're going to see is Maestro on, uh, which I'm excited for but I am going today um, and if anyone's out there and there's still time it's at 3 o'clock at the Chinese Theater uh, it is the Hollywood Reporter's greatest book panel yeah, right, and of uh, Scott Feinberg with the Hollywood Reporter um, put together a, a jury um, I was flattered to be 
asked to be on this jury. I don't know why I was on it, but I anyway. Um, and we went down to these great ballot and picked the 100 best books about film. Number one is Hitchcock Truffaut, this famous interview that Truffaut had done with Hitchcock. Uh, other books are, you know, Easy Riders, Raging Bulls, and um, uh, um, the Kevin Barlow book of the, all about silent film, and, and anyway, some great things. Um, and including uh, George Stephen Jr., who's the founder of AFI, has these two volumes um, that are called The Great Conversations, and they're all seminars at AFI. So oh, when wow. you were there, you went to the HLMS yeah. seminars. Yes. People, uh, these are things. These are from the history of that, and those two books are on the list. So he is down there. Um, but that's pretty cool. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, so. Wow. Well, so I mean, that's a, I, I, what I love about AFI Fest is not it's great films, but there's also kind of a little, again, something for everybody, yes. including readers. And that's why film is for everyone. Yeah. This has been Chris Merrill on the CFA podcast for AFI Fest. Thanks, Indy. I hope we can see you around the fest. Yeah. Please stop by and pick him out of the crowd and say hello because he can tell you absolutely everything there is to know about filmmaking. Or I'll you make heard it up. It here. Or he'll make it up, just like all about Eve. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Join us in bridging the gap between talent and crew. Start by subscribing on your preferred podcast platform. Sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date on vendor discounts, community events, new podcast releases, and you can educate yourself through our free course releases on YouTube. It all starts at cinematographyforactors.com. And if you like this episode, consider leaving a review to make it easier for fine folks just like yourself to find us. <laughs> We have some super exciting news. CFA has teamed up with We Make Movies to offer you a discount on production management services, including access to comprehensive production insurance, workers' comp for your next shoot. All you have to do is visit wemakemovies.com slash insurance and use code CFA23 on your intake form for 10% off your quote. Also, we've just partnered with We Audition, which I'm sure you know I'm very excited about, to offer you 25% off your membership. Use code CFA25 to get that membership for only $7.50 a month or $75 a year.